badass hands are to D2. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Universe figure review. I'm not a Marvel Universe, but the Marvel Legends build a figure Rocket Raccoon. This review is brought to you by MarvelousNews.com. Check them out. Link is in the description below. They have all the latest in Marvel related news. And if you're trying to pick up the Rocket Raccoon wave and you cannot find them at retail, I suggest you go to Big, Big, Big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So by far, this is the weakest Build-A-Figure I've ever seen. This is terrible, man. I, I mean, I like having a Marvel Legends Rocket Raccoon figure, but I'm just bummed out that this is a Build-A-Figure. It's, it's crazy. Now, unlike the other waves, we don't get a little story involved here or anything. We get this little piece of paper that comes with the Wrecker or maybe, hopefully, Bulldozer, Jean Grey, and Black Panther. So, this is all you see right here. Uh, head, tail, arms, they all just plug in. It's pretty simple. Here's this gun right over here. Looks pretty damn cool, actually. It's the same exact thing that we got from Marvel Universe. I cannot find the Marvel Universe Rocket Raccoon gun. It has been driving me crazy. But this is basically it. The Marvel Universe version is the same exact thing, but a lot smaller and painted with this tealish silver kind of color right here. So this one we get the details with the silver and the red over here. And we have this nice flat black color right over here. You can see some nice texturing underneath there. That looks pretty damn cool. So yeah, not a bad looking gun. I've never had a problem with the sculpting of this figure. I like it. It's pretty cool. He has gold eyes. The Marvel Universe version has these white eyes with red dots. So I think the gold eyes looks pretty cool. Wish there was some shading on the figure, but there is no shading whatsoever. On the fur, it would have been really nice, but oh well. I like how you can see the texturing in his clothes right there. I think that's pretty cool. He's got some silver buttons and he has some red. Now, one thing that really kind of bothers me is that there is no shading at all on this guy. But on the little Marvel Universe one, we do have shading. So that's kind of a bummer, man. Nice silver buckle right there and glossy black paint for the rest of his belt and then there's his little raccoon feet and there's his big furry tail and the back of the figure not a whole lot to say I do like these buttons on his gloves over here that's pretty cool now just like the Marvel Universe Rocket Raccoon he cannot stand without leaning on his tail his feet are just too small to support himself I guess if you really no he just oh wait there it goes hey I got it all right now I feel like an idiot but okay so he can stand on his feet without leaning on his tail duh I feel like a dumbass but yeah you can see right here this is why I called it a Marvel Universe figure because it is the same exact thing it's just that this guy has added articulation which is not really the greatest uh, from the waist down he has nothing except for the tail so his head is actually on a ball hinge which is nice and he can look up pretty far so that is pretty cool he looks up that much he can rotate side to side and and he can look down pretty far. He has jaw articulation right here, so that's pretty cool. His shoulders can move outward, they can move forward. His elbows could bend at 90 degrees and they rotate side to side. And he also has separate articulation at his forearm right here. So he's got the elbow side to side and the forearm side to side. He has waist articulation and he has a ball jointed tail, so you can move the tail around in any direction that you wish to. His gun fits nicely in both of his hands, which is pretty cool. I just wish he came with an extra gun. It would have been nice if he came with two guns instead of just the one, but I don't know. I guess that's not the biggest deal in the world because now it looks like he's ready to hold a gun with this one, but there's nothing for him to hold unless you go find another gun that you want to work with. Hey, this Marvel Universe Star-Lord gun works. That's not bad. So Rocket Raccoon stands just at three inches tall. Man, that's tiny. And here he is next to Hit Monkey, the next smallest Build-A-Figure. So, and here he is next to Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. And here he is next to fellow Guardians of the Galaxy member Drax the Destroyer. So hey, we got two right now. Well, I guess from the movie lineup at the moment anyway. Yeah, I mean, a real disappointment, man. I'm kind of bummed out. I I'm glad, again, I'm glad we have a Rocket Raccoon figure. I guess the record kind of makes up for us having such a tiny Build-A-Figure again, but still, uh pretty weak man so I don't know yeah kind of a bummer all right well that's my review you guys and I'll catch you later peace Rocket Raccoon! Gotta give a big... Okay. Ah.